Glenn Lavallee is here, the balloon artist. Good morning, Glenn. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. So let's let's first get started. Um, you've got a, a giant Stanley Cup there, and then you've got the flower arrangement. Um, how long does it take to put these sorts of things together? You know, the the cup especially is fairly intricate. So, well, the cup I spent most of last night putting together, and this morning I put together the bouquet, and it was you know maybe um, eight minutes for the bouquet. Really? Real? Yeah. Wow. That's pretty impressive. That is impressive. I need to learn how to do one of those flowers because I think we were talking off the air in terms of what you could give to a, a young lass. Mm-hmm. A flower would be a good place to start. Yeah, you're probably an advocate for uh, Dan's idea that uh, making flowers in a bar is a great way to meet women. But I'm, are you? Yes. Have absolutely. you met women doing it? Well, I'm happily married, so, right, so. I, I make acquaintances. <laughs> <laughs> are you wearing that suit while you're doing it? I don't generally wear the suit when I go to a bar unless they brought me in for that specific reason. Right, exactly reason. right. Okay, fair enough. So how did you first uh, get interested in making balloon animals? Well, my daughter, well, I, I wanted to say animals because yes. you make much more than sculptures. Animals. Sculptures, yeah. yeah. Yeah, sculptures is a good word for it. And I have a daughter um, at the time, she was about four, and I thought, hey, let's get some balloons. How hard can it be? And I discovered it was actually really hard. I went to a wedding reception and thought I'd entertain the kids and discovered I couldn't do anything. So that was a real <laughs> motivator for me to get some books and to spend a lot of time practicing and um, through years what and years. What made you think you really? You just showed up with a bunch of balloons and thought, I'm sure this will work out? I was young and Foolish. And you start with simple things. So the trick is to get yourself comfortable making balloons. And the nice thing about balloons is if you make a mistake, then you can just start over again. Whereas a magic trick, if you make a mistake, people see it and say, oh, you made a mistake. So you shouldn't feel nervous about, oh, this dog didn't work out or this flower. You just start again. Mm-hmm. And when you are in a social situation, what I like to do is start with simple things to get people's attention and to get them to notice you. And then what happens is that they will come over to sit with you and ask you about what you're doing, which is a great social segue. Now, listen, the patter is a big part of it, though, too, isn't it? I mean, when you've got an audience and you're doing the the balloons, because it takes time. You mentioned this uh, bouquet takes eight minutes. You have to have eight minutes of conversation to go with that. Right. Well, it makes the time go faster, I agree. And what I do is I ask about the person themselves. You know, what's your favorite color? How, uh, how do you choose to want a bouquet, for example? Or you can ask them about what they're wearing or ask them if you, they like what you're wearing or just about any other conversation. And if I'm really stuck, then I just say, okay, well, here's the next part of the balloon figure I'm making. Mm-hmm. So I actually describe it as I go, which is engaging enough for the individual.